This, so this is from Otha Wallace on IG. One day I will take great pride and honor in getting me some pig's blood on my hands and boots. It reads, I pray against my enemy and wish death to all who are oppressive to the black culture, black power. Now what you see here is elements of Hebrewism praying against curses, or praying curses, you know, in the, in the realm, in their mind, of the imprecatory Psalms. But you see this larger concern that's almost like a pan, a pan uh, black Americanism, not pan Africanism, but see something that's combining other elements that are current. So there is a new movement of people who are more embracive of other other ideologies as well. And NFAC was a very good example of that, and so is Otho Wallace. So I think people need to understand, even though I'm saying he's a Hebrew Zolite, in that he claims to be a Hebrew and uh, and espouses doctrines of Hebrewism, that doesn't mean that's all he espouses. He's also a member of the New Black Panther Party and a member of NFAC. And he embraced Hebrewism, but doesn't appear to be in any official camp. Everyone better support him. I'm over here sick to my stomach, but I will spend every waking moment doing rituals and praying for one of my closest comrades. Now, what that shows is the broadness of some of these new so-called radical coalitions, and that they'll have people who are into ancestor worship. They'll have folks uh, from the Kemetic tradition. They'll have other folks who embrace various aspects of the conscious community. But then they'll also have Hebrew Israelites, and even some people that just describe themselves as Christians, albeit maybe have a more progressive or kind of radical version. And these are new coalitions, not just the NFAC, but kind of ideologies uh, that, that I, I, I'm noticing are happening. It's a very interesting time. What may be its final battle with the government, members of the group called Hutari wanted to sue federal investigators for violating their constitutional rights five years ago. Today, an appeals court said they cannot sue. Ron Cathy, for years, the Hutari Christian warriors enjoyed playing war games in the woods of northwest Indiana. As the Hutari Christian warriors, the Hutari Christian warriors, the Hutari Christian warriors, ten federal authorities said the Hutari games had given way to a violent plot aimed at killing police and overthrowing the government. Nine militia members were arrested, but the charges ended up being dismissed. And the feds said they had intercepted a domestic terror group bent on sedition using weapons of mass destruction. Among those charged, this man, 46-year-old Thomas Piatek of Whiting, Indiana. Federal agents seized a sizable stash of weapons, ammo, and war hardware from Piatek's garage. Despite the haul, the harrowing charges, and worldwide publicity, a federal judge in Michigan wasn't impressed. She ended up dismissing the bulk of the case, acquitting seven of the Hutari members and ordering the seized property. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem. Recha Ha Kodash and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, I say a shalom to you, other Akim, you brothers, you few sisters and followers of the truth. And let me say shalom to the elect. Uh, okay, I want to go in this video here, uh, responding off of um, Vocab Malone has. Um, become frustrated it, seem, it seems with so called Hebrew Israelism as he calls it uh, and he somehow managed to link this guy Ortho Wallace okay uh, because he claims he adopted Hebrew Israelism now I noticed on the video I, got, I guess I'm going to have to go back um, to his video because I noticed um Vocab Malone said this man was with the NF, um, what they call it, the NFAC, right? And um, and with the Black Panther Party. Okay, I'm just looking it up. Uh, it says Hebrew Israelite shoots cop in Florida. So notice he never said. Um, notice he never <laughs> he never said that uh, uh, a Black Panther. Uh, shoots cop. He never said the NFAC shoots cop. He just said this guy Arthur Wallace because he adopts obviously the idea that who this man is and according to the doctrine that we teach 
uh, proves who he is. Now, again, we don't know if it's all set up or how it was. Vocab may know what's going on a week before it even happens. I don't know. But I will say I, I find it kind of ironic that he never, he just clearly says he's a Hebrew Israelite because that's his platform to come against Hebrew Israelism, okay, as he calls it. <laughs> but that's what they do. But on the other hand, you got Christian uh, nationalists, right? You have um, Christians who are anti-government, okay, who believe in toting guns, in fact, taking down the government, okay? So let me get a scripture real quick, and I'll come back and go into the article on that, the, the, uh, the Qatari Christian group, okay, Luke 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and, will, and, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast your name out as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Right, because uh, the ideology of the, of, or the philosophy of what people think, the one you call Jesus, Yahweh how he is, and what he said, well, we had a guy uh, camp yesterday say that God was a man of war, God was a man of vengeance, but Jesus wasn't. <laughs> well, the one you call Jesus, Yahweh was of his father. And that's when we pulled Luke 19 27. Okay? But anyway, I want to go into this article real quick on the, the Hutari. Okay? It says a militia movement group adhering to the ideal, ideology of Christian patriot movement based on Adrian Michigan in the United States. The group formed in early 2006. The name Hutari ap appears to be a neologianism. Okay? The group uh, group's website says that the name means Christian warriors. But an investigation by the FBI concluded the word doesn't have a Christian background. Okay, so we know how that go. I'm, I'm just going to get to the point. Uh, let's go to the beliefs. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get to more on this Christian group. Uh, it goes on here to call the, it called themselves the Christian Patriot Movement. It says the movement originally referred in the 1980s uh, Posse Cornetatius, which really was formed back in the 60s. You see how Vocab Malone has so-called everything on Hebrew Israelism, how it formed, how it was adopted. But well, we're going to here to show you that uh, you had different Christian branches not just militia groups, you had other particular groups and then you had um, these other groups that adopted and you had the reformationists as he believed who have managed uh, as, as Vocab was talking about uh, you got people who practice uh, different kind of um, ancestry behavior right because this is what they did when they came into uh, Africa to certain parts of Africa and force that on us as well. It was guys like this. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it says who was the Christian identity. Right. Uh, when you look up Christian identity. It says Christian identity. Is an interpretation of Christ Christianity. Which advocate the belief that only Celtic and Germanic peoples. Such as the Anglo-Saxons. The Nordic nations and or Aryan, Aryan people and uh, people of kindred blood are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? This is what they believe. Now, they might be descendants going back to Abraham and Isaac, but they're not. Um, well, going back to Abraham, well, and Isaac, because Isaac, I believe, had Jacob and Esau. Right? So they would be still Shemitic. But there was one nation chosen out of the other. So you go to Genesis 25 and 25. Anyway, it goes on to say, ministered uh, the majority of the Christian Patriot Movement members still adhere to a Christian's identities of white supremacist views. The ideology holds the view that state that the federal government are agents of an arcane conspiracy to deprive Americans 
of their rights as sovereign citizens. So this goes back to what happened when they brought us here and you had the down, you know, down south and the north gets the south with bankers thing, money, but it was also property. And what happened is after the situation happened to us, I got to keep it the way it is. What happened to us when we were brought here, our, our heritage stripped from us, our identity taken from us. Then the elite said, well, now we taking back control. And they never liked that. So we have a thing now where uh, the people of the South, even going back then, when the so-called slavery was freed, that formed so-called militia groups to come against the government for allowing uh, you know, so-called slaves to be free. You know, obviously they had a problem with that. And now as time goes on, they still have a problem with uh, the northern tribes and the so-called uh, blacks, natives, uh, having some form of prosperity in this country. Right? So then you go back to vocab and what he believed going back to the Puritans and going back to uh, John Calvin uh, they was the same it was the same thing they really wanted total control and they out of, they was a branch out of the Roman Catholic Church and this is why when you go into the inner city you'll see Roman Catholic churches right and then if you see the Baptist Church and the other churches they still stem out of that root so now this is what you see vocab doing this is why he has a problem uh, with Hebrew Israelites he doesn't have that much of a problem with the NFAC and uh, because they're not that powerful like that, you know. He doesn't have a problem with the uh, the women who practice ancient ancient practices of spiritualism. He doesn't have a problem so much with the Black Panther movement. This is why he titled his video "Hebrew Israelite Shoots." This guy wasn't a Hebrew Israelite. He wasn't even in a camp. You have a lot of Christians that adopt the idea to some degree of what, what we teach some Christians do I've heard them they just don't want to believe in the Gentile thing you know but a lot of people know and it's our people this is a problem amongst our people collectively right we're the only ones as Hebrew Israelites and I'll say a great millstone is standing up for the Bible for truth's sake but you got people those people that's marching in Black Lives Matter those people that are in uh, other organizations, those people that are protesting, well, they're Christians too. Well, what about what about these uh this this 14 year old and this 12 year old? What about the video on that opening fire on police and officers? They wasn't Hebrew Israelites. Do you see where it goes? Because this guy's trying to pick, paint a picture that is anything out of Hebrew Israelite brings corruption. But Christianity is the biggest corruption. And I guarantee you, this 14-year-old and this 12-year-old went to a Christian church sometime in their life. And they still probably believe on Jesus, even though they may believe Jesus has failed them. Psalms 183, Psalms 83 and 2, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, which that goes into a form of confusion. Or oh, right here it says disorderly agitation. Right? And they that hate thee have lifted up the, the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Right? And this goes all the way back. When they came over here, they set up, and they said, we're going to set up the colonies, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. We're going to uh, name the lands after ourselves, Psalms 49. And we, uh, we know that these people are, are the Hebrews, but we got to take crafty counsel. Now we got to take down the pictures, the images, what was wrong with the old images? Why would you paint? In order to paint something new, you have to be covering up something that's old. That's where you get to look up the word makeup. It means to cover something that is used. Right? So in order to bring that supremacy in, they had to repaint everything. That was part of their crafty council. They have taken crafty council against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Right? They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And they have used our people to do that too. Even to the day into the Christian church. Telling them that the Gentile, who the Gentile said, don't go into the, the, the depth of the scriptures. Don't read. 
Don't listen to this foolishness these people say. Don't believe in the laws. Meanwhile, the people that set all this behavior up, that set everything up in this society, they're, they're keeping a form of strict laws, right? They're keeping a form of some form of order. But you can't. They don't want you to. So I just found this interesting that vocab alone, he, the whole time he had an issue, he has an issue with Hebrew Israelites, and all it takes, somebody could be believing, practicing Buddha, and do some heinous act, but because he accept the fact that somebody might be a Hebrew Israelite, and you got to understand, not all Hebrew Israelites teach the same, right, and believe in the same thing. So this man just puts up Hebrew Israelite as though he's, even though there is people who say that this man can make it, this man can be saved. You got some Hebrew Israelites who practice a form of Christianity and say everybody can be loved. But vocab, you people who are sitting here saying that, um, hey, I believe in Christianity. I mean, I believe in being a Hebrew Israelite. You, you camps, you teach wicked. But then this guy is sitting up there uh, putting you on front street as an Israelite it's not a question of uh, uh, how you believe but what you believe so they'll sit up there and tell you um, this is just a Hebrew Israelite no matter what doctrine you believe this is the picture that he's painting right so it's not mattering at this point they did the same thing with the Arabs so called half of them Arabs wasn't coming here planning on blowing up nothing they just wanted to get a piece of the pie the American dream like every other nationality came here man but because of this, the stain and the, the deception that is put on people they will they will uh, uh, deceive you as a group or a nation of people but yet in the process of it all you could set up all kinds of stuff going on around the globe and do whatever it is that you want to do. You can break all the laws of God, the Most High. Right? You can fly way up out and do whatever you want. Uh, have trash in, 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 in the uh, atmosphere. It doesn't matter. But vocab has no videos on this. All these things that's happening in the act of Christianity, the, the uh, Hutari group, right? The, the young children that are shooting at cops, the uh, the uh, drug addiction of Christians and the suicide of Christians out of the Christian church, and even to our people, nothing on that. That's all I have on that, Shalom.